amigos i hope you have all had a really good week um so this week it's for my third party followers those of you that your person is with someone else so we're going to look at what's going to happen next so they're with someone else what's going to happen next so as always it'll work on the strongest mutual energy bef between you all so if you need to us to look in a private reading just give me a holler give me a shout i'll put all the details in the description so this is going to be debt number one and this is going to be debt number two someone uh when i taught locally brought me this deck years ago and I forgot about them because I'm clearing out some decks for the tarot conference because there's like a swap table I found them and I was like oh my god I forgot about this deck so number one number two pick your deck um think about you think about them uh, just you and them we're not going to think about the person they're with we're just going to see what's happening because we don't want to feed the person they're with any excess energy which shouldn't be there okay so let's get going. So can you get me into, let's turn a bit so I don't wreck me back, deck number one's energy. So as always, strongest mutual energy between you all. Deck number one, those watching. Okay. Right, think about your person. So we're going to primarily focus on you and them in this reading, but obviously if anything comes up about their person as well, we will let you know, we being myself and my guides. Okay, think about your person, collective energy on that. Thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes and all potential, probable, possible outcomes, choices, chances and changes for this step. Oh, that's a good energy. Brilliant. That's great. That feels good. Okay, so the first thing that's kind of coming through my left ear is that we've got Just Give Me a Reason by Pink. A lot of you feel that you're kind of at the end of your tether with this situation. Can I have some cards, please? Can you tell me what's going to happen with them and their lover? So are you, it doesn't necessarily have to be your lover, but it could be, you know, someone that you were with and that they are now with someone else or that your person, your special person. What's going to happen with them, the people watching and their, their people? Three, four, five. Okay, and the overall outcome, please. One, two, we get four. Overall outcome, three. One more. I need you to jump, not flip. Okay. Oh, okay. The outcome's okay. So what's currently happening with you and with your person? Now, there seems to be a lot of heavy energy going on in debt one. You're all feeling a little bit heavily burdened by the situation. Now, you guys are feeling it, but also your person is feeling it as well. They're feeling that they've made some really stupid choices, um, that they've made some really stupid decisions, um, and there seems to be a little bit of distance created between the two of you at the moment. Now, that could just mean that they are distancing themselves from you if you're having like a proper relationship with them and they're with someone else or that they have just distanced themselves from the situation so distance from from you distance themselves from the situation and also distancing to kind of sort out their head and their mind so we've got heavily burdened and this kind of distance energy you guys are heavily burdened by it as well there feels to be a very very heavy weight kind of feeling around your shoulders around your head um, and it's like you guys whenever you try to stop thinking about the situation it's there it's there it's like a little uh person is in your mind saying think of me think of me think of me that connection between the two of you is kind of making you feel a little bit stuck at the moment you're feeling a little bit trapped now it's not just you your person is echoing that energy as well so if you've been thinking oh they're not thinking about me or nothing's happening or this that and the other your person is thinking about you which is why they are heavily burdened by the situation as well they don't want to be where they are at this moment in time there is no love lost between the two the person that they are with but a lot of your people have got children involved in this situation or if it's not children there's a close family link and through that close family link and through this connection with other people your person has made himself feel quite stuck in the situation 
they need to put the big girl or boy pants on and kind of deal with it but at the moment they're in this kind of avoidance behavior thinking well if I, if I just distance myself the whole thing will go away but obviously that's not how it works they're clinging on to the situation with you they're thinking it all through and um, to a certain extent as well they're overthinking it because they can't get you out of their mind so you guys are in that I can't stop thinking about them they're kind of in the same energy they're trying to keep themselves distanced and distracted and focusing on where they are and what's happening but because they aren't very happy actually where they are whenever there is a quiet moment or whenever there's breathing space or when they're driving you will pop into their thoughts and in their mind and they've still got this little bit of hope that something can happen in the longer term. They've got into this energy of if there's a will, there's a way, if it's gonna happen, it'll happen, um, which isn't very helpful for you guys, because you're thinking, well, would you just hurry up, because I'm sitting here kind of wasting time. Especially those of you that are on the age, like when you're a little bit worried about you having children there's like a little bit of a concern around children with regard to some of you watching and um, because you're thinking would you get a move on my clock is ticking now please don't tell that society please don't listen to society pressure on that you can have children whenever you want and even if you um, aren't physical children of your own there are certain ways and means so please don't be pressured by society into thinking all oh, my ovaries are getting old that kind of energy just as a little heads up spirit saying you just need to don't put the pressure on you those of you that are a little bit worried about pregnancy and thinking this person needs to hurry up so they're holding on to this situation at the moment now they are kind of trying to um pretend there isn't a problem in the home environment so over here you can see like the lovely family unit they're trying to pretend that there isn't a problem they're trying to pretend that everything is okay in this working environment but they are kind of being prisoners to their own thoughts and they are feeling that they need to get out of jail free card you know they're feeling that they're trapped in this situation and again it's because of kids or it's because of money or it's because of stability and so they want to be with you they want to hold that they want this energy with you they want to see where you and them go but then at this moment in time they're not actually doing anything about the situation um other than thinking it through and then overthinking it through they're feeling quite drained and tired from it all they're feeling like at the end of their tether what should I do? I've got to make a choice soon or I'm going to lose you lot watching for good. I, I've really got to start making some choices here. But whilst this kind of stability and security is going on, your person is getting very confused about what they should actually be doing about the situation. They're a bit of a wuss. They're a bit frightened to actually make some moves on it. Um, and so they're pretending that everything is okay in this home environment when actually it's not. And especially because even if you took out the physical side of things, they're thinking about you all the time. So this is kind of emotional affair going on anyway. So, you know, they've just got themselves in this, this stagnant stock energy. So what's going to happen here is this per your person is going to keep thinking, basically. They're going to be thinking, overthinking. And with the distance that's going to be happening between the two of you, they're going to realise that there's got to be some kind of offer made. Now, they might come in with a more sexual offer, um, but that sexual offer is kind of going to, we've spoke about this a few times, that sexual offer is going to take over the heart-centred energy, okay? So if they come in and say, oh, you fancy a hooker? or you fancy meeting up or something like that just bide your time with it keep in your power stay strong to who you are um, and you know and say to them until you commit to me I can't commit to you so an offer is going to come in feels to be more of a sexual offer but the reason for that again is because the heart-centered energy is hidden underneath it all if they talk about emotions this is a really bit this is a little bit messed up but just go with me on it if they talk about emotions that's when they're going to feel the guilt about the family <laughs> Which is stupid, really, because you're in their thoughts all the time, but that's what Spirit is saying. When they focus on the emotions um, and think, oh, I love you, I really, really love her, um, that's when they start to feel guilty and, and think, oh, well, shit, I've really got to do something about this situation because my emotions are really, really strong for, for you lot watching. Um, so a lot of the time they will act on that sexual energy first because even though they're kind of being deceptive, they don't want to be deceptive. And again, in a certain, well, in a lot of the sense, that's a bit of denial with them because they're thinking, oh, if I don't have to talk about my feelings, then we can just carry on like nothing's ever happened, like everything is OK. But they know that you can't put up with it for much longer and they have to make moves towards you. So these offers are coming in. Um, now, with a timing for all of this, you're all at very, very different timings. Some of you, this offer is going to be in about two to four months. Um, and some of you are going up to about a year. So depending on your individual circumstances, we'd have to look at your, your individual timings in readings, uh, in personal readings. 
So this offer will come through. Now coming from this offer, however, it's looking really positive for the two of you because you then have the Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups and the Sun. So we've got some kind of celebration happening here. So the sexual energy that they will come through and come forward to you with is then gonna lead to this new beginning that they want with you. They're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna start working out They'll have had this, yeah, sorry, they'll have had this time to process and they will be working through and thinking, well, actually, you know what, we could be together. I could put my big boy slash girl pants on and do something about it. Um, your celebration with your person. So if you're not in contact, there is definitely some kind of reconciliation happening here based on a more stable beginning. If you guys are in contact and you're just going with the flow of it, this is a new beginning stepping in to the situation and then you have the sun for the happy outcome and with the baby on that that's giving birth to new dreams and those of you that are worried about pregnancy spirit is saying the baby on it can signify that either you're giving birth to your dreams with everything happening with your person or um this can be a physical baby so there is happiness coming in some of you this is in the summer again your timings are very very different depending on your individual circumstances so we've kind of got the whole year going on with this situation now some of you will get fed up and annoyed of your person and if you choose to walk away from this situation your person will come back chasing you with their tail between their legs because again Again, they're heavily burdened at the moment and they're feeling trapped but if you suddenly distance yourself from their lives while they're still clinging on to this situation whilst they are still thinking about you um whilst they are still burdened by it and using you know you as a kind of an escapism from what's actually happening in their crappy little lives um they will make these moves towards you and that distance is actually going to prove um beneficial to you both so if you guys aren't in contact or you feel that they've they've really kind of just pushed you away let them go okay just let them go go and focus on yourself for a little while and um, start manifesting what you want if you want manifesting plans just give me a, give me a shout but if you want your relationship with this person to work you know if they, they've distanced themselves and said no i can't do it give them what they want you know it's that saying make your bed lie in it give them enough rope let them hang, hang themselves they will realize that they have made a serious effort by doing that realizing when you know you lot can move on with your life you lot can go and be happy you lot can go and find someone else your person is stuck so if they if they have pushed you away or in the process of pushing you away or if you are in the process of having enough give them that space give them that time give them that rope let them hang themselves and they're going to come back towards you again with this offer it seems to be sexual but underlying emotions come back to you with this offer realize they've actually got to do something about the situation and that is where these new beginnings can come in step into the into you guys energy really positive you know so positive outcome cards so you're not there just yet You've, you're still kind of hanging on by a thread it does feel to be a thread um you you really do feel at the end of your tether don't be afraid you know to tell them what you will take and what you won't take if you're thinking i can't cope with this much longer you know don't you don't have to push them away but you need to Rather than pretending everything is happy and everything is great, tell them, you know, I can't cope with this. Are you leaving or are you not leaving? And then it's down to you to make a choice and decision about what you want. And even if they said, no, I'm not leaving, and you go and say, okay, that's it, I'm done, I'm going to have a break from it, your person is going to come back, tail between their legs and say to you, all right, okay, let's sort this out. So the outcome, the collective energy outcome on deck number one is really, really positive. So again, we'd have to look at your individual circumstances if you want to know more about it. But it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, dipping into all you lot's energy, pulling out the strongest mutual energy. And with that, there comes this celebration. It's just not yet, you know. So don't, don't make yourself suffer you know focus on you take this time out while they are still where they are at this moment to work out what you want to do keep try not to focus on the person that they are with because if you do that you're manifesting the two of them coming together and it could mess this all up okay so just be very in conscious of the thoughts that are coming through your head and through your thought process just be aware of it um yeah spirit just say again give them enough blow rope let them hang themselves and i've just got at the same time through my left ear we've got another song and uh someday when we are wiser when the world's older when we have learned i think that's from a disney film someday when we are wiser when the world's older when we have learned um until until then we'll we'll wish upon the moon is that hunchback of notre dame 
might be the hunchback of Notre Dame. Someday, okay, someday when we are wiser, when the world's older, when we have learned, go back to your Disney roots, okay. You're kind of holding on by a thread with this Just Give Me A Reason song that we had at the start, but with the Someday song, it looks like it will happen. Try not to pressurise yourself into thinking it's got to happen now, it's got to happen now, it's got to happen specifically like this and this way and that way. Because what you're doing by trying to control the situation is that you're going to make it worse. You know, you're just going to, you're trying to control it, you're not let the universe do its job and, and you'll, you'll push yourself into a corner. So just be conscious of that. Let the universe take control. Tell the universe what you want. Tell them. You know, get into your power energy. I'm not taking your shit. This is on my terms. And, you know, if you stand in that power, even if you back away from them for a while and this distance is created, it's going to come back round. They're going to come back with the tail between the legs. Okay. That's step number one. So if you need me, I'm, I am away uh, from Wednesday next week till Wednesday, the week after, uh, at the London Tarot Conference. Um, so if you need me, uh, my out of office will be on at that time, but I'm, a, I'm here till Wednesday and then I'm away for that week. So uh, for email readings, for email readings are 11, 11 per single question. Then we've got 50 minutes, half hour uh, teaching, psychic development and, um, and then various other readings like past life, spiritual, um, spiritual readings about guides and who they are, etc, etc. So just give me a shout if you need me, okay? But keep strong, keep strong, you're doing great. And that's step number one. Okay, let's do deck number two, 1621. Okay, my beauties. So, as always, this works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So we go into all your energy, we go into all your people's energy, and we pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. Okay. Think about your person. So again, we're just going to focus this reading today on you and your person. And if their person that they are with comes into the energy, we'll, I'll read you for that. But for, the, for, for this reading today, it's just about you and them. Okay. Can we get into their people's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, changes and outcomes of that number two. One more. Okay. Can you tell me what's going to happen with the people watching and the lover or person? What's going to happen? One, two. Just heard really clearly battle of wills at the moment. You two are kind of battling one another in your <laughs> over who's going to win. Three. Five. Uh, we need one more for up here. What's going to happen? And what's the overall outcome for deck number two and the person? What's the overall outcomes? One, two, uh -huh. three, one more. Okay, so, 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 like Spirit said at the moment, we've kind of got a battle of worlds going on um, over here at this moment. So uh, you and your person are kind of a bit of loggerheads because you want one thing and they are just wanting something else at this moment in time. Uh, they're standing in their power, being very, very strong, being very, very stubborn, and you're going, come on, come on, come on. Make me an offer. Let's get this to work. Um, and this is where the battle of wills is coming in. You're, you kind of, uh, I've just seen a tight, tight rope, tight rope, tight rope, I think. When, I don't know uh, what your various countries in England, you used to, tug of war is called. One of you would stand on one end of the rope and one of you would stand on the other end of the rope and you'd have to pull it. So whatever your individual circumstances are at this moment in time, you feel like you're kind of pulling a bit of rope between you and your person because nothing's really happening. You're getting really pissed off and it's going one way and then it's going the other way, then it's going to you, then it's going back to them and it feels a little bit um, stuck. 
you, neither of you are really winning. You're just carrying on with the same game, going over the same routine over and over again. And it's the same routine with talking about them about how you're feeling. It's the same routine about is anything going to happen. It's the same routine of who's this person? Where's what's going on? What's happening in your home? Who are you with? What are you doing? This routine between the two of you, you're having this battle of wills at the moment. And it feels like your person, and please don't get upset by this, but your person is starting to get a little bit irritated with the whole thing. Um, so this kind of comes as well if you lot have already kind of distanced yourself or had this we're not together or they've gone off with someone else it has been this would be a past energy then it has been this battle of wills now i'm getting a song coming through my right ear and we're getting follow the leader 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 follow the leader it's like the blind leading the blind at the moment you two don't really know what you're doing all you two know at this moment in time is that there are quite strong emotions between the two of you but you're both very very stubborn um and your person's actually really, really irritating you. Whether you're in contact, not in contact, whether there's, you know, whatever your individual circumstances are, you're thinking, would you just hurry up? Um, time is ticking. Time is ticking. You know how I feel about you and your person saying, wait, wait, wait. If I, if I'm, uh, if I just stay put, I haven't got to make any choices yet. I'll just stand here um, with my family. Again, family are being brought into it. Pretend nothing's happening. Pretend there's not a problem. And this is where the battle of wills is happening because your person's really irritating you. Now, they are working things out at this moment in time. There's a little bit of escapism behaviour happening here. So um, if your person is already with someone else, what's happening with them is they are probably doing alcohol or drugs or going out or partying or playing game station. They are not present in the relationship that they are in. There's a very big distance between the two of them. And what's happening there is that those of you that are stalking other people, their social media, um, the person that they are with, you know, their wife or their girlfriend or boyfriend, depending, remember, never sexually orientated or gender specific, but the person that your your guy or girl is already with um, is feeling very, very insecure about the relationship. So what they're doing is they're starting to post on social media, oh, we've had a great weekend away, or look at us as a beautiful family, we are amazing, we are perfect. And what's happening in this situation is that your person... Um, they are going to your person to say, give me reassurance, let me know that our relationship is okay, tell me everything is alright, and your person isn't giving them the reassurance they need. So they're then going onto social media to try and get reassurance from other people. The other thing that I need to mention here is that if you and your person have had a bit of an argument or a bit of a fallout and they have posted a picture of who they are with, um, they're just super pissed off at you and they're just trying to get you to react. So don't view it as everything sorted, don't view it as everything's happy, they're just trying to get you to bite, alright? They're working it all through at the moment. Again, this battle of wills, this loggerheads is happening. Um, they know that there's got to be choices and decisions made here. Um, you and them, the door is still very, very open between the two of you. You haven't had closure. Um, you haven't had any kind of answers from your person. Um, so they know, they know that they've got to communicate with you at some point in the future about where this is going and what is going to happen. Now, with regard to this kind of communi communication coming in about what's happened, where it's going, um, et cetera, et cetera, a lot of you will be looking around the two month time frame. Now, remember that's your collective energy and your individual timings will be, can be quite different, but your collective timing for communication about where this is going is at the two month period. So your person um, is going to end up getting a little bit annoyed with you um, or if you're not in contact your person is going to be oh, be thinking about it and still be like thinking oh god I'm really pissed off I need to communicate with them so you're going to get this this communication coming through now it's quite an urgent communication it's going to feel like nothing's really happening and then it's going to come in quick as a dog running after a bone it's going to be fast okay they're going to make this choice and decision and this contact is going to come in now they might be a little bit of an a-hole to begin with they might be a little bit um mean or rude um but again it's just because they they're not really sure how to handle the situation they're not really sure what's going to work where it's going to go so from here what will happen from this point from this communication coming in um, this urgent need for communication is that this tower is going to hit so you guys are then going to have this bit of a shake-up so at the moment it's this tug of war Something's going to happen, De depending on your individual circumstances, something will happen, whatever is going to happen in your situation, something will happen, they will come in, 
urgent communication and this tower is going to hit and when this tower hits you and your person have got to really start rewriting the chapter with you and them you've got to start again um there really is a need for everything to kind of burn down to be rebuilt okay so that's that is that now you that is that needs to be rebuilt so then it looks like uh you are going to be focusing on what it is that you want to do now your person is also going to say to you it's quite likely that i will leave but once i leave i need a bit of time by myself to be single um so just go with the flow of it if they do say that and um, they've start to got they've got to start putting movement into action as well you know and um, so there's a card here of kind of you being single being on your own but standing in your power with the situation but equally there is that possibility with, with some of you it's not all of you with some of you that your person is going to say well if I leave I need to be single because I don't want the kids to get the wrong idea about us or um we can't just go from one to the next because it's going to cause so much aggravation in my marriage or blah 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 you get it um so that is a potential that will happen um but you and your person will be going through this period of transformation okay you will be giving birth to new ideas to new dreams and you will be in a point when this happens um you are, you are going to be the one in control to say whether you actually want this or not. So it feels like that offer will come through towards you. And um, once this tower hits and you guys have this bit of a, your person and you have this, oh shit, this is shit's hit the fan. Once the shit hits the fan, it's really going to make you lot analyse what it is that you want from this situation. At the moment, you'll say, I only want them, I only want them, I only want them. But as time progresses, um, when this, this tower hits, it actually feels like some of you are going to be at the end of your tether and think, you know what, I'm, gonna, I'm done, I'm going to walk away. Your person then um, will probably retreat for a little while, lick their wounds, and then the communication will come back in when they feel ready. But this period of transformation is going to happen. So where you are with your person at the moment is they really need to rewrite you and them really need to rewrite this relationship put all the past to bed and um, have this period of transformation and then decide whether this is what you both want you have got to decide for first whether this is something that you want you're on the right path with it it's moving in in it is movement you know it might feel that there's this tug of war going on at the moment and nothing is happening but there is movement that is going to be stepping in um and that's it's that urgent movement with urgency so at the moment we've got tug of war then there's this urgent, I've got to make a choice on this, we need to have a, a big talk about it, something's got to happen for this to shift, tower is going to hit. When this tower hits, you guys have got to rewrite this, whether you rewrite it together or whether you rewrite it going your separate ways for the time being and being single. And that has got to happen for you two to transform this relationship into the relationship that you want it to be. Um, at the moment, it doesn't feel like there's really... Um, you know, you do have a love between the two of you, don't get me wrong, otherwise you wouldn't be putting up with it, you know. Um, but this this loving card, it's got, you've got to transform this relationship because at the moment it's a little bit, what want of a better word, it's a bit toxic. It's a bit difficult, it's complex. Um, and there seems to be, you know, this loggerheads, battle of wills, you're, you're kind of a little bit at war with one another at the moment. Um, your person's not making this easy for you at all, let, let's be fair. Um, but when this tower hits, it's going to be mainly their tower, but some of it will obviously be your tower because you've got to work out whether, if they're, if they're not going to leave, how long are you going to put up with it? I know, you're not going to like hearing that. But if they are going to leave, you guys have got to rewrite it. You've got to work it out what, what it is you want. If you're happy to wait for them, then go with it. Go with the flow of it. If you're thinking, you know what, I'm done with this bullshit, I've had enough, then you've really got to work out what it is that you want from the situation. There is a potential for the two of you to come together. Don't get us wrong. Don't get us wrong. But you've got to rewrite this whole chapter. Have this period of transformation between the two of you. You know, so when this tower hits, even though it's going to be a bit of a shit, shit's hit the fan, it's actually going to be more productive in hindsight. You know, afterwards you'll look back and think, well, that actually had to happen for us to realise that we, we want to give it a go or that, you know, I can't cope with this anymore. You know, whatever your individual circumstances will be, that is what is going to be happening. OK, the tower is going to be hitting. That tower means you need to rewrite the relationship and work it out whether you want to give, give it a go. And if you're going to give it a go, your person has got to change their attitude and change what they're doing. You know, they've got to change the, themselves as a person. You know, people always say, I'll never trust them. I always say to people, you know, it's not about trusting the person. You've got to kind of have trust that this person was the same person that you met when, when you first met them. It's having trust in that energy, having trust in that fact that they were going to be the same person that they always were. Um, but, 
there is there is a need here to be to be standing strong with you with your person you know at the moment you keep on playing with this battle of wills but when the shit hits the fan giving birth to your dreams rewriting it what direction do you want to go down and you will have that chance of saying whether you want this or not you will have that chance of your person saying okay this is where i stand this is what's going to happen from my end and if you're not happy with it you say okay you know what thank you for the time together and kind of leave the door open for them and say thanks for coming thanks for stopping by you know there is a chance, there is a chance, but you guys have got to rewrite the whole thing for, for that to happen. And by the time it happens, um, you guys have got, you, you might be feeling a little bit differently about it. And at the moment you say, no, Ali, I won't be feeling different. As time progresses, um, the more loggerheads you two are at and the more you feel like you're pulling this rope, you will have that choice to make and it's going to be down to you whether you want this to progress or not. There will be a chance, but is it going to be what you want when the time comes? That is the question, okay? And that is deck number two. So probably not what you were hoping for, but you know, we have to tell you what you need to know, not what you want to know. That's the, what my guide always says. So if you need me, I'm away next uh, next week from Wednesday till the Wednesday after. I'm at the Tarot Conference in London. Um, so if you need me, just drop me an email. I'm gonna have my out of office on that week, but I'm available till that Wednesday. Single email, single questions, 50 minute, half hour readings, um, 45 minute readings as well for some of you. Some of you book a half hour and a 50 minute if you need a longer one. Um, past life readings, normal readings, spiritual readings, anything really that you wanna know. The only things I'm legally not allowed to talk about are health, including pregnancy, finance and legal stuff. That's because of UK law. Um, and that's it okay guys so step number two don't lose hope don't lose faith but just go with the flow of it ride out see how you feel you know you are the person that is in control of this you're more in control of this than what you think you are so go with the flow of it try not to battle it just go with the flow of it see where you end up and then make the choices and decisions that are right for you when the time comes to it and until that point you don't really need to overly worry about it until those towers hit try not to overthink try not to overanalyze just go with it all right beauties okay so yeah if you need me details are in the comments um have a good week. I'm going to pre-record a reading for next Wednesday for you all, or next Thursday, whenever I put it out. I'll pre-record one for when I'm away, uh, so you still get your public, and then I'll speak to you all when I come back. Um, but if you need me, email, email it is. All right, darlings, lots of love to you all. Take care. Bye.